Lucy, are you looking for the clear sky out there? Hey everybody, so glad you could join me again for another video. Have you guys had issues with clear sky lately? Because I certainly have. I think this is going to be like the second or third night here in February, and that's all I've been able to get. And I am just so excited that it's gone from being completely snowing to basically 100% clear in just about two days worth here. So I'm looking forward to getting some sort of some clear sky. Tonight we've got the Thoris Helmet on the imaging lineup, and the Thoris Helmet is a bright emission and reflection nebula in the constellation of Canaan. Major. To find it, you'll just look a little bit left of Sirius in the night sky. That's where your telescope will point to. And it's just below the Seagull Nebula. And if you have a wide field lens, you can actually capture both of these targets together, which is what I wanted to do originally. But instead, I'm focusing just on the Thor's helmet for right now. Tonight it's going to be completely clear. It's the only night I'm going to get for a little while again, so unfortunately I'm really not going to have a lot of time other than what I do get tonight to devote to the target, and that's only going to be roughly about four hours or so, because after sunset we are towards the end of the winter sky in terms of long exposure astrophotography for them, as Orion and Canis Major and some of those other constellations that are a little bit lower in the northern hemisphere start dipping towards that southwest portion of the sky relatively quickly after sunset. Thor's Helmet is a relatively bright target. You can actually capture this in a variety of different telescopes and even see it visually with an Oxygen 3 filter. So with that knowledge in mind, we're going to be using that and putting a light pollution, oxygen, and hydrogen filter on there for one-shot color cameras. I'm going to use my smaller 183 chip as it's going to frame this nicely. But because the Thor's Helmet is so small, we're going to have to use my Comet Hunter and get above 700 millimeters of focal length to kind of frame and zoom in on the Thor's helmet a little bit better than something like my Hyperstar will. Without further ado, let's go out, get set up, and let's wait for the darkness to fall. 